What's up? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Another update here on the cars. So, did some work here on the uh, plutonium chamber. Got these uh, gold heat sinks wired up for the back of the driver's seat. Uh, what else? Get the light on here. Getting prepared to do these uh, dash boxes. I got to put these things together. Also have the uh, the switch for the time circuit control, which is it's mounted on that box there. Uh, good news with the car. My last video, I got told you guys I couldn't start it. And I didn't know what the hell was wrong with it, and it took me many many hours in this car upside down under the dash as you can see I ended up pulling out the uh, center console because I was trying to figure out if I pinched a wire broke a wire or something communicating to the fuel pump and uh, you're never gonna believe this but um <laughs> anything maybe I could help somebody uh, else from having a bad day so in order for this fuel pump, because I don't have it in the tank right now, the tank's clean and I don't want to put fuel in it and have the car sit with fuel in it. I've done that too many times with DeLoreans and the plastic and the tank and the ethanol fuel and I got to get some non-ethanol fuel. But um, that's what's in here now in this little container with my fuel pump. Well, the fuel pump is too far away from the um, factory wire harness. So what I was doing is I was using a jumper wire from the factory to the fuel pump. Well, not this one, but the one I was using, let me see if it's around here or not. And this is what's crazy about it, because it doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it. it looks brand new, right? This was not having a good connection. I didn't do these crimps, this is how it came, but I guess the metal is not touching in here, so I basically have to redo these or buy new ones. That wire would inadvertently work. It would work and then not work. And that, the connection just was not good. These uh, gator clamps and the wire that is uh, crimped in here is obviously not connected properly so I have to redo that. that, that that's that been the issue the whole time um, so I, as soon as I put this other jumper wire on there crank the car a couple times and start it right up start up right up runs good uh, I do have to change the oil though because uh, I did accidentally um, put too much fuel um, when I was doing direct from battery to fuel pump and I think it dumped the fuel into the the oil uh, reservoir so I didn't want to I don't want to wash my uh, cylinders too much so I gotta change the oil in this thing I gotta put the center console back in and then get do going with the uh, cooling system I'm in the process of <clears throat> I just filled these holes from the uh, the other um, tubes and I'm going to put these tubes on here I'm going to mount those in but they use different uh, mounting holes so that's why I'm doing that and uh, in a few weeks I'm going to be pulling out the window and the shield and doing a fi the film accurate back on my car my personal car like I did here on this uh, this other car so um, that's about it right now for the update, but uh, I might do some work in here. I'm trying to get that Janitrol to uh, look like the movie one. It has to be altered a little bit, so that's going to take a little bit of time. Um, yeah, that's it. Put these uh, cooling hoses on, and uh, I've got the... Uh, gland boxes cut I have to uh, sand them down paint them black and then this is the uh, high voltage 
box that you see right there. So I gotta, I gotta fix this. I gotta put feet on it, and uh, that's it. I do need to pull this off, uh, get this front bumper cleaned up and painted and ready for the flux bands. I also have to take the markers off because that's exactly where the flux boxes go. And uh, hopefully I get to the next step here. I get, feel like uh, you take a couple of steps forward with these cars and they take you back a couple of steps every so often. So anyway, that's that for now. Let me, uh, let me get a couple things done and I'll get the camera back on. All right, center console's back in. Knee pad back in. The back is put back together. And we got the green tubes mounted on here. Have to uh, do the fittings and the uh, brake. Well, they used the brake line like to go this way. But I'm not going to do that until I change out my uh, back shield, and I got to look for the la the other anodized uh, cap for that. So yeah, that's that. I also picked up the uh, nice classic JVC the camcorder that Marty McFly had. It's pretty cool. People love the props when you take photo ops with this car. I actually bought an extra fuel pump because um, I kind of want to upgrade the fuel pump in this car. This car still has the old style um, DeLorean fuel pump, which I really don't like. So, I've done some research in this Delphi uh, fuel pump assembly fits in the DeLorean tank and pumps out enough pressure, the FG0089. So, yeah. I don't really understand this. I, didn't, I read the ad, it said new. I don't know why this box has been opened. I guess I'm going to open it next up. Check the contents. Oh, looks new. Maybe they were going to use it and they decided not to. I'll test it. But yeah, it fits right into the... Glorian fuel tank and 150 bucks versus 250 or even I think DeLorean Motor Company wants to sell you their uh, version of the new upgraded pump for like $450 which is absolutely I mean they're just they're just robbing people at that point because they're literally getting the same thing they're probably paying a hundred bucks for it to be made somewhere and they're charging people four hundred some dollars so anyway I have to put all these purple clamps together still and yeah the actual movie car used aircraft quality uh, clamps and um, it's actually missing this entire center section to save on weight like it doesn't even show and um, I actually just think it's kind of cool to have the gold color show. So I painted them gold and uh, I'm going to slide them back. Slide them back through each rubber grommet. Yeah, so this is me late night in the garage just trying to get a few things done. And I am tired from my work day, so I don't know how much longer I'm going to be in here, but try to get a few things done.
All right, let's see what else we can do. And there you have it, folks. A Janitrol tank. These are heaters for aircraft. And this part in particular is hard to find. It's hard to get. And they become more and more rare. Um, this model is slightly different than the one that was used in the movie, but it is literally the brother or sister of the model that was used in the movie. Uh, the only reason I say that is because it has two ports, and one of them you cut off, and I'll be cutting this one off, and it'll get mounted just like that in the back of the car, and then the big orange tube gets attached there. It, even, it has its original tag on it from 19... 1960-something. So, yeah. After you remove all of that stuff and cut some parts off, that's what you're left with. Don't ask me why they put this on the car, but it just looked cool, I guess. They got it out of an aircraft junkyard back in the 80s, and... They just bolted a bunch of stuff on these cars. And, um, yeah, this is, uh, this is it. Um, I'm contemplating selling one of them, because I do have one other one. Um, I want to put this one on my car. Right now I have a plastic replica. And I'd like to put this one on, but I have to change the whole rear bulkhead first. I'm not going to go through the work of putting this on and then changing out the bulkhead on the car. So anyway, yeah, everything takes time. I had to cut all these, these tabs, these, these brackets off of it. Had another bracket here, had another bracket here, and now this has to come off. And then it just gets mounted that way. Um, there are some people that would say, oh, you got to mount it this way, uh, you don't see the label, blah, 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 but after doing a bunch of research, um, there are a couple of slight dif slightly different orientations on terms of where these things are mounted on the different Janitrol tanks, and I'm just going to go with this way, because this way is, I think, cooler and better looking anyway. Um, I don't really have to modify anything. Um, just got to put it in there at an angle like this, somewhat, off of the back window towards the engine bay. So, yeah. If you're interested, let me know. It's not a cheap part, but I don't know, it's cool. It's worth having if you want to have accurate parts on your car from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, because they used everything. Um, even these, uh, rolling contactors are from the 1960s, 70s, I think, something like that. So I have my set in my car, and I actually just got done wiring up the set for this car. And that's just going to get mounted on the dash like that, and all these wires are going to get mixed in with the other wires. All the all the decorative wiring and the time machine. <laughs> yeah, so that's that.
Sandy Pack.